No, I'm sorry, Walmart. Walmart. Thank you, Kathy. I appreciate it. So, um, I this again, this is going to be a simple gnome. It's not going to be with a fancy beard or anything like that. I want to make it simple and easy and sort of quick. So, I'm just going to um, draw it on. Um, thank you, Leslie. I appreciate it. So, I always start with the nose. The nose is the easiest part of the gnome. And I just draw a circle. And, you know, honestly, now look at how messy that circle is. It's okay because I fill it in. So that's, I, I sketch things. So if something doesn't look right, I just make it a little bigger and you know, it works while I'm doing this. Thank you, Deborah. I appreciate it. At Dollar General too, good to know, Holly. So, um, so that's the, I always start with the nose. And then um, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do more of a patriotic hat, so I'm not gonna do a, a basic gnome hat, but I am gonna come down and I do it on both sides, so that sort of matches on both sides. Oh, can I think you're gonna have a hard time see? You're gonna see when I start um, painting, but I just wanna sort of get it sketched out here. I'm gonna make sort of a big brim. And I just just sketch so sort of a big brim and then a classic gnome hat has the pointy hat I'm not going to do that I'm going to do a fun kind of I'm just going to round that off um, just a fun kind of hat it's not going to be perfect So can you see the hat that I drew? That's the kind of hat. And I actually, I normally like, I can paint trim and stuff on here, but I got a cute ribbon I'm gonna do across down here. So a little bit of multimedia I'm gonna be adding on here. Um, and it, so that's just gonna add a little bit of texture to it by doing that. But it, so it's gonna be a simple paint and just adding a couple things to make it look more multimedia. So now I'm just gonna come down and do the beard. Both sides. You know, when people ask for a pattern, I really don't have a pattern. I just sort of draw the same thing mostly every time. So, um, I'm gonna have them have cute little skinny legs, the kind of legs we all probably want. Um, she is loud, must be your device you're using. Oh, okay, I'm sorry if somebody can't hear. I really, I don't know what to do different. Okay, good, Teresa, I'm glad it's showing up. I'm not sure what to do different with my, with my hearing because I have it turned all the way up. Hi, Kathy. So let me just finish. So I'm gonna do just do two skinny legs. I'm gonna just do pretty sideways shoes. You could do just a circle on the bottom. You know what? I think I like that idea better. Good thing you have erasers, right? All right. I, is the TV bothering anybody because I forgot to turn it off and there's a little bit of noise coming? If it is, I'll just go grab the remote. I got pants on tonight that I can show they're not Sesame Street. <laughs> I'm good, Debbie. How are you? So you can hear me fine? Okay. All right. And the TV isn't overriding me. All right. That's good. I don't want the TV to override me. All right, so I'm just gonna, I think I'm going to do, I'm gonna do a circle at the bottom for the shoes. And a circle at the bottom for this shoe. And then I'm just gonna bring it up a little bit on each side of that leg. And then when we paint that in, it'll look a little bit like a boot. So it's almost, it's almost like two circles. All right, and when I paint it, it'll look like a boot. Okay, so I have the beard, I have, um, okay, so we need an arm. And my arms aren't always the best. So um, one of them I think is gonna go down, let's see. 
I, I need one up. So I'm just drawing a basic arm. And maybe a like a mitten, because I can't draw fingers. And it's hard for you to see it. It's hard for me to see it where it is right now because of the brown. It's sort of hard to see. I'm just going to lay this down. And... Again, I just sort of sketch till it's the way I want it. I am not an artist by no means. There are people that are so talented in doing these things. I just sort of do fun and easy. Um, okay, so that's one arm. I'm trying to think of what to do with the other arm. I'm doing good, Pat. How are you? Hi, Glenda. Thank you. All right, so that's one arm. And the other arm, I think I'm just going to put down. And we'll see what it looks like. You know what? You can't see, can you? I'm sorry. Can you see that better? Just wait. I am so sorry. You don't need to see all me. You need to see what I'm doing, right? All right. So I was just changing up this mitten a little bit. If you don't think you could sketch it, I mean, even do it on paper first and then cut out the outline. Um, that's a good way to start. Okay, so I think, again, it's going to be really basic what I'm doing. Do you see, can you see the outline of him? I know it's sort of hard to see on this kind of wood. So um, we're just going to go ahead and start painting. Now, the other things that I'm going to be using are, I got these from Jennifer. At, she's Crafty USA last year. Um, she probably will have more out on her Etsy shop, I would guess already. I'm not sure. But I got these from her last year, and then I hadn't used them yet. So um, I got the USA, and I've got, three stars here. Let's see, does this one have paper on yet? I think this one has paper on yet. Um, there's sometimes paper on when you get them. Peel that off. Okay, so this is going to be also the multimedia. I'm going to be adding, you know, maybe stars or something. Put the USA across the top. We're going to do something with that. So we're going to paint them too. You can see them? All right, good, good. Hi, Jane. J, J. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I think I'm going to, um, we'll do them after. Let's get let's get this base coated. So um, I'm going to start and start with um, the nose. We're going to start with the nose again. All right, and I'm just going to. I now the colors I use are going to be um, just use colors that you have. These are. Um, colors that I haven't used a lot. Um, this is Americana Flesh Tone um, and also the Deco Art, uh, the Honey Brown. I might add a little salmon. So that's, that's how we're going to do the nose. And then we're doing basic red, white, blue, and some gray and black. So whatever colors you have out there. So I'm just going to start with this nose. And I like starting with light colors so that um, it's easier. We take dark colors to cover up the mistakes. So that's just a little tip is if you start with the light colors. Okay, you really don't like, like you know what I forgot? I forgot my paintbrushes. <laughs> I'm going to paint with my paintbrushes. I got to go get them. <laughs> Lord. How the heck do I paint with my paintbrushes? 
Oh, ridiculous. All right, I'm just gonna grab, oh, just a little, just a little one for the nose. I'm so, <laughs> stop laughing at me. <laughs> we're gonna, we're painting tonight. Can you tell? <laughs> So ridiculous. Hi, Cheryl. <laughs> hey, Doris. All right. So I'm just dipping in that. And this is going to take a few uh, coats. And I'm just using a little skinny little flat brush. You could use whatever you feel comfortable with. Actually. Got a little on the hat. It'll cover up again. It, when you're used, starting with the light and covering with the dark, it covers it up. I'm just filling in the shape I sketched, and I'm going to the outside of the shape so you don't see the lines. What you making? Doris, we're making a gnome. A simple gnome. I'm not doing the fancy beard. That takes longer. I'm just going to do a simple, simple beard. I sketched the gnome out, so if you didn't see from the beginning... You can go out and check out how I sketched it out. All right, so I'm just going to do one layer right now of this nose. Now, if you want to make this more 3D besides adding on the wood and um, ribbon that I'm going to be doing, um, go ahead and put a bead on the nose or something like that. <laughs> check. <laughs> yeah, new technique. No brushes. Finger painting, finger painting my gnomes. I'm always forgetting, forgetting something. I know, gosh. I mean, how stupid is that? I'm painting tonight. I have no brushes. I actually have some new ones sitting on the side here that I thought I'd have to open up if I would miss one, but when I miss all of them, I'm so. That's where my brain's at. All right, so I'm going to take and I'm going to base coat. I'm looking at it and it looked funny to me. Well, that's because it's upside down. <laughs> my hat was looking goofy. Oh, gosh. Oh, this is going to be a fun night. Fun, fun, fun. All right. All right, and I got you tilted down. My head's cut off because I want you to see what I'm painting. All right, so this is Anita's dark red. I also had the country red out, but I think this is even like a, a brighter, a little bit darker red. So um, that's why I'm using this one. It's, it's just a really pretty red. So again, any color will do. And this one, I'm just gonna take a little bit bigger brush. And we're doing the hat now. It's not pretty red. So I'm sorry not going to be talk a while because I can't do this and that. You're not cut off to me and I see your crap too. Awesome. No, no, no. That's fun spelled backwards. <laughs> oh, we certainly got that. I did flip my camera, so at least you're, when I put the USA on, you're going to see it. I haven't painted in a while, or not like a gnome or something like that, so bear with me. I might have to think a little bit here. I'm not liking this brush for this part of it because it's too big for me. Yeah, it's cutting my nose off. We'll fix it. All right, now I'll just do the rest of this hat. Don't have to be perfect on it. I want it sort of rounded corners. And if you're late coming on, I sketched it out first. Um, just sketched it at the beginning of the here with a pencil with erasings. And so I'm just filling in the sketching that I did. 
And I don't think I'm going to do extra layers because I love the look of that green coming through it. You could do it, so that's gonna make this a little bit more rustic kind of country by not, um, not completely filling in everything. If I did an extra layer, you wouldn't see any of that grain, which if that's what you choose to do, you know, awesome. Or if you don't like this type of board, you could paint this board completely white or something first. You can do that also. So whatever your taste is, What are you making? I am making a gnome, Rita. This is the hat. I'm making a patriotic gnome. Yeah, I like that. I really like the wood grain. I'll show you in just a second. So isn't that just really pretty through there? I love it. And, and it's messy. I don't like this brush that I chose for it. I'm using it. I'm going to use a smaller brush now. Um, because I'm going to, first I'm going to fix up that nose. Again, this is going to take a little bit to go on top of the red. Oh, actually it didn't do too bad. I'm gonna dip it in the red yet. Me too, Wanda, I love gnomes. I haven't painted a gnome for a while though, so I thought I'd come on and do just a fun, simple one. All right, so that's that one. Um, I like this little brush right now. I think I'm gonna use it. So I'm gonna do the arms also in red. just love that wood grain that's showing through. Thank you, Wanda. If you all like what I do, um, I really appreciate if you, if you pass it on and spread the servings. Um, it just really helps, helps the algorithm because, I mean, people have been struggling with that yesterday. Even some larger pages were talking about that, that things just aren't getting spread around as much. Um, by Facebook, they're just not showing as many people as what they normally did, and we don't know why. We just gotta try and keep playing with it. So if you like what I do, please pass it on and let other people see, I really appreciate it. Hi, Stacy. All right, and let's do this arm is up. And I move my board around. You see some painters that just keep painting with it in the same direction. I have to move. It's a comfort thing for me, I think. We'll have to watch really late. All right, Mary. I love gnomes, both painting and 3D. Yes, I do too. And this one, like I said, this one is just gonna, we're gonna have a little bit of, um, just a little bit of extra, and almost like a multimedia. We're gonna add a little bit of uh, fun to it. Okay. Just cute. He's already cute. You know, you he, he almost don't even need a beard. <laughs> He's just cute. All right. Um, I think I'm going to do also do the legs, same color. skinny legs. I really like this little brush. I have to moon mine too. Yeah, Mary. Yeah, I mean, it just makes it easier flipping it around. Like I said, there's some people that just leave it in the same direction and they can move their brush both ways. That's not me. Like I said, I am not an artist. I have fun doing what I do. But there are such, oh, there's some beautiful artists out there. I have a couple friends that are serious artists. I love what they do. All right. Keep 
cute, cute, cute. Oh, he, I mean, he almost looks like he has a beard already, doesn't he? And I did have a good day. I hope you did too. Thank you. Although I worked. <laughs> uh, it, was, it was good enough. He's already cute, and that board gives an impression. It does, right, Eileen? It really almost looks like a beard. I mean, it doesn't help. I have traced, you know, I almost feel like I should just highlight the outside with black and leave it. What do y'all think? I mean, I don't know that I necessarily, if I put, like, black around where I did the pencil mark, it almost is the cutest beard I think I could do. What do y'all think? Do you think we really need to paint a bunch on the beard? Yeah, it looks like a beard. I I really think I'm just going to do some highlighting around the outside and make it sort of draw that in. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm not even really going to paint on that beard. So that's what I'm actually going to do. All right, so now I'm going to just add, we're going to, um, let's, let's, we're going to do a little bit of the blue now. Just, yeah, I think I'm just going to outline the beard, too. I love the look of it, especially with how the red is showing that through. Um, I'm going to outline it. And I and this is how you do it. You see, all of a sudden, you just see it, and it pops to you, and it's like, oh, but I like the way it is. Otherwise, I plan on painting it. I am painting it tonight. I, yeah, I'm going to highlight it with black. I've got the black right here. Yes, uh, that's what I'm going to do. All right, so this is Americana um, Ultra Ultra Blue Deep. Again, any colors would work. Um, I'm going to do the mittens. Yeah, I think I think it's going to be a really cute idea. gonna be cuter than what I thought it was I sure hope some of you guys try this and let me see pictures I said if you're nervous about sketching sketch it on paper and do the outline of it um, okay that mitten is just really cute I hope and my mittens never match so I have a problem black outline is too dark. I would use dark gray. I don't know. You know. We'll see. I've got a little bit of highlighting here. I'm going to be doing some highlighting with black, so I do think I'm going to do that because I am going to be doing some highlighting with black because I love highlighting like on red um, with black. So I might, I think I'm, I'm still think I'm going to do the black. We'll see. Once I have it on, it's too late. You see what I'm doing? All right, I'm just painting in this other mitten. Again, I'm just giving one coat to these because I love the wood grain shining through. You can even see it through the blue. Okay, now I'm just gonna do these boots. We're going to add a little highlight so it'll look a little more like a boot, I think, when I'm done. And the other one. Like I said, it's almost like two, like the top one is a circle, the bottom one is more of an oval. Hey, Delina, 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 I think, huh? Hello, from Alabama. And the trick is to try and get the same size boots, too. Okay, 
That's actually pretty good. Thank you, cute, cute. All right. Now we're going to do a little bit of highlighting. Hi, Marsha. How are you? Hello, Patricia. Marsha, I miss seeing you. Thanks, Kelly. All right, just try it up a little bit. Donna, I did too. All right, I just got to spread a little that was on there. Okay, now I'm going to um, just start, I'm going to add a little bit of highlight, and I think I'm, I always like black highlights with red. Um, I just wonder if it's going to be a little, I'm going to, I'm going to use the black. I'm, I don't know if it'll be a little too dark, but we're going to try it. Have you attempted to tap your screen? You're talking to someone else, right? I hope you're trying to help somebody. Because I don't I I don't know. Okay, so again I'm just using now I'm using Deco Art Lamp Black. Any black will do. Okay. And I'm gonna start highlighting some. I'm still debating on what I'm gonna do with that beard. Um, I have the dark plum too that I thought I could do a little bit on the hat, but I think I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I always vasculate on this. All right. I'm just gonna get an angle brush. So I like highlighting with them. Thank you, Lisa, for passing it on, and Teresa, I really, really appreciate it. Okay, highlighting. So I also have my little cheap palette here. So you can see, so I'm gonna be, so I just dip the brush in water, you get the uh, brush wet, and then you dab it off, um, just some of that water off, and you just dip the tip of it in, and then you, yeah, you can see that, right? And then I'm just going to blend it in a little bit. And I'm gonna start with this part of the hat. Oh yeah, I like that. Now there's a line between whether your brush is too wet or too dry. If it's too dry, it's not going to spread. So then just put a little water on your brush and um, spread it. If it's too wet, okay, that's gonna do a nice little highlight, I think. If it's too wet, it'll like puddle up. So I'm just gonna spread this a little bit more. So I just wet the brush and dabbed it off again. But that's just bringing it out, so. And we're going to do the same thing now, just dip the corner. And I'm going to do it all the way around. I mean, if you're normally low lighting and high lighting, you probably wouldn't do the top. But I think that's going to make it really stand out on here. Again, by dipping in the water again, just you can get that to spread out. Thanks, Patricia. Like I said, we're going to make this a little bit 3D. We're going to be adding on a little bit of extra, like multimedia kind of things. We're going to add some ribbon. We're going to add some wood 
decorative wood. Again, if it doesn't spread, your brush probably isn't wet enough, so just get a little more water on it, dab it off, and it'll spread it around. I've been highlighting everything since I watched you do it. Oh, yeah, Teresa. And you know, honestly, like I said, you probably wouldn't do the black around the whole thing normally, but I just like that it's going to stand out. So I'm going to do that. Okay, um, I'm going to take a little brush. Just a little one. And I'm going to fill in a little bit of this black and take a little off. And because I want to make the hat look like it's going down a little. So this is sort of the shadow of the hat. And it sort of makes it look more like that's the hole in the hat where your head is. And I'm probably not doing this right again. I'm, I'm probably not. I'm just doing it the way I know how to do it. Just filling that in then. Put a little over the top here. Just a little over the top of the nose. Can you see that makes it look more like it's sitting on his head and not on top of his head. Thanks, Teresa. All right, so let me just, okay. So now I'm gonna do a little more highlighting on the brim of the hat. Thanks, Patricia. I love painting. Like I said, I don't, I, I'm not an artist. I, I just love doing it. Um, and I know I'm not doing it the correct way all the time, but you don't have to, right? That's what I want to show you. You don't have to. Okay. To highlight this brim. Thank you, Lisa. I said, I've got friends that are true artists, and, and I mean, theirs are some, they make such cute, cute things, especially one makes beautiful gnomes. But I just make the cutesy because I don't can't do that. All right, and now I'm just gonna do this bottom part. Okay. That just sort of brought his hat. It sort of makes it stand out. We'll be doing a little more on it, but okay. So now I'm just going to do the arms, the same thing. I wasn't sure that I'd like the black, but I love it on here. It just... I love it. So we're going to do all of the highlighting in black, which is unusual, but whoever said I'm usual, not. Thanks, Becky. I see Nicole is on here from the Frayed Knot. 
she makes the cutest things too. Check her out. Anybody else out here that has your um, crafting pages, please go ahead and drop your links. Um, check them out. I'm jealous of Nicole with her. I love her rustic touch. Nicole, you know, I, I adore you. And she has the greatest ideas, a lot of wood cutouts. Wanda, I'm, this one isn't hard. This is just playing a little bit. Like I said, it's not actual um, proper way of painting, putting these low lights everywhere, but it's just pulling it out on this board, seeing I'm not filling in and doing double layers because I love the wood grain through it. So... I think I can get away with doing the black all the way around. Let's put a little too much black on. You're welcome, Nicole. All right. So, okay, and I'm going to do the mittens. You're not going to see it as much on there because of the dark blue. Um, if you didn't check out the beginning, I was talking about text messaging. I can now let you know when the lives are through text message. So if you want to join my text message list or, you know, there might be other things I let you know. I won't spam you or nothing. That's my text message. So send a text, um, say hi, whatever, and we'll get you on, on the list. And then you get notified more. Not everybody's notified of things lately. So on my text message list and well, maybe it will let you know of some things that are happening all right let's do the boots Yeah, I see somebody saying, telling Doris, afraid not. Yep, that's Nicole that's on here. You will love her, Doris. Okay, one more. We got to do the other boot, and then I'm going to switch to a thinner one just to do the legs. We're going to do just a little bit of cute decorations now on here. Man, that beard, I it looks like a beard, and I didn't even do anything to it. So it's going to be cute, just highlighting a little with this black, I think. Are you hearing music in the background again? It's my TV. Um, and it looks like a creepy show on. I hear that music like you know something's going to happen. Can you pin the number, please, so I can write it down? There's that. And I, um, I did put it above this video, too. Okay? Um, I did put it above the video. Otherwise, take a screenshot. Take a it. Gotta smile for the screenshots, right? Okay, so I'm just gonna take this little skinnier brush and highlight on these legs yet. Thanks for spreading the blessings, Tammy. Appreciate it. We'll do random act of kindness at the end. I haven't mentioned that yet. So um, make sure you're commenting and we'll 
scroll and pick a name and I'll get some happy mail out and then I ask that you do a random act of kindness for someone. We all can use that, right? Okay, I got most of that highlighting done. I think what I'm going to do, just because if I use the highlighting like right on this wood, I think it might spread a little much. I'm gonna first do it with a pen. With just a black pen. I'm gonna just do it with that first. And I don't know that I'm gonna have to I may not even highlight on a beard. I may put a few lines through it. And I'm not doing this perfect. You can see I'm making other lines and just like a sketching. And I'm actually going to do some lines coming out here. Just to add a little bit to that beard. really cute and I'm also going to do under the nose cute 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 okay let's highlight the nose so I'm going to use um some of this honey brown I think isn't he cute Debbie I, I'm liking him all right, I'm just going to do a little bit of more highlighting now, and then we're going to paint up the other things to put on. Okay, so um, I'm just going to do the, get a little color on that nose. Okay, can you see that color? It just added a little to the nose. It's adorable. Oh, thank you. All right, so to add it a little. Now I'm going to do just a little bit. Okay, I've got the white here. I do, or actually I'm going to use, I think, a light gray. Because if I, um, well, I'm going to dry brush a little white. So I'm going to do, and I'm going to do some stripes. Isn't he cute, huh? Betty? Thank you. Thanks, Cheryl, for all those hearts. Thank you. All right, I'm using uh, Deco Art again, Americana. This is whitewash. I was a little nervous because I thought, okay, is this not going to be like white paint? But it is. It's white paint. So I'm going to use a very skinny brush. And do a couple little. Um, okay, I just got a real little, little tiny one. I'm going to put a couple little. That one's funny. It's got things on. These are all the hearts. We haven't thrown them out. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay, I just want to get a better brush. There we go. And we're gonna do little stripes on the legs. Yeah, it's a little cuteness. Um, I'm gonna dry brush a little bit on the hat. Some of the white and I'm just going to use like sort of a scruffy brush this is called a scruffy brush it's called a scruffy brush I wonder why all right 
white. So, and I'm just going to dip in here in the white, wipe a bunch off, and then wipe a bunch off on the paper towel so I don't have much. And then I just check it on my hand first. And I'm just going to add a little bit of little bit of highlighting it just adds a little something more you're still gonna see that green through you put a little on the top of this brim and that's where some of your highlights are gonna come out yeah, some of these arms add a little on the boot And let's get our little brush out again. I'm just gonna add a little bit of a line. Okay, this was my bad brush. So again, if if you like just having fun doing painting, that's what I'm doing. It's not not by all means um what an artist would do. <laughs> but it's just fun. All right, we'll just add a little bit of highlights. Okay, so I think um, we're gonna add some, we're gonna make his hat polka dots. Um, the stylus here, and I'm gonna make sort of big ones, and you can do them like with the back of a brush or something like that, or I'm using a really fat stylus. And okay, I can't believe how perfect that board is for, isn't it? it? It just turned out cute, cute, cute. All right, so I'm going to just put it in and then spin circles. So, Just add a little, if you're good at stars, you could do stars. Just all over, adding cute. And I like it with a stylus or like the back of a brush because you can make it, it seems like you, it's easier to make a circle um, than to use it with a brush. That's really pretty good. Um, I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna do some blue stripes on the sleeves. I'm just wanting it colorful. You know, even though we got sort of that rustic coming through, I want it colorful. Okay. Well, and I actually have blue here. I'm still gonna use that. So we're just gonna make little stripes on the sleeves. And just making colorful. You can do whatever you want. Thank you for all the hearts, everybody. I appreciate it so much. All right. Almost done with this kind of highlighting. And then we're going to paint up the letters and the stars. Okay, I think I'm done with him. I'm, I'm going to do one little, just a little, just a little highlight of white on the nose here. Just to add the extra little, almost like a sparkle on his nose. So, I think that part of, is done now. I'm, I'm going to let him, so now we're going to just paint up, because I think we're going to do the USA up here. Yeah, 
That'll be cute. We'll paint that up and then we might add a star. I'm not even sure we're going to do stars. So these letters were from Jennifer from She's Crafty USA. She has an Etsy shop. Um, yeah, just if you look for She's Crafty USA. The, I got these last year, but I'm thinking she might have them have some 4th of July again this year. So, um, you know, check them out. All right, so I'm just... And you don't have to paint the back because it's already... And, you know, I like these dark sides almost, but I think I'm going to paint them just because I want to make sure... Um, It'll, it'll blend together. I think normally I leave the sides, but I'm going to paint them. Okay, and I'm going to paint. I'm a, I would like to do um, in, I'm going to do them all in blue and red. What do you think? I, if I do white, it's not going to show up on the board. Very cute, and I really love how the board gives a rustic look. Yeah, I do too, Stephanie. So what do you think the colors of the letters? I could do two blue and a red, and then I, I would do like maybe some big polka dot, you know, just so it's, it's coming off. Um, I think I'm going to do maybe red, blue, red. If I do white, you're not going to see it. So what do you think? Is he going in my shop, Dixie? He'll probably go in my shop, yeah. So I don't know when I'll get him in. It probably won't be until maybe Monday, but I think he'll, he'll I think he'll be in there. So and I might do some more. You think all blue, Kathy? I think you know that would probably be really cute. And then I could just decorate. I'm gonna, that's a good idea, Kathy. I think I am gonna do all blue exactly. And Janice, you too. Very good idea. I like that. All right, but I am going to do the sides also. And then I can decorate up on them with the colors. I won't be able to do a couple though with these letters. I think I only have this one set of USA. So whoever gets it will be the lucky one. The rest will be painted on. Did I warn you this is going to be a little bit longer live and I didn't even do a fancy beard. Okay. Top. Do the two colors on the late lead. Ooh. I'm not, okay, something's misspelled on there, Eileen. Do the two colors on the, I mean, I am going to do, like, I'm going to do a little bit of decorating on these letters. And I think that's what's going to bring the other colors into it. Watch the replay to catch it. Oh, Dina. Yeah. Um, Dina, did you see the gnome? I can show you that. I painted a gnome. But I did show how I drew it. I, I drew it out on here. And then I painted them. And I'm just doing the letters so that um, I'm going to put them on the gnome, gnome board. So if you didn't catch me drawing the gnome and painting, yeah, that you'll have to rewatch. But I can show you it. Like I said, we don't have to do the back because we're going to be gluing this on. I could show you if you were on at the beginning, you saw, but what I actually was going to paint tonight was like flowers and a birdhouse and stuff that I sort of sketched, but I thought that would take too long. Was I wrong, huh? This took long. I don't care so much about the sides. I mean, the sides are dark, so this blue, you can see that on the sides. Um, 
but you're not going to see if you miss little areas, but these tops you will. So I'll give two coats on them. That would be awesome. Okay. Again, these letters I got from Jennifer with She's Crafty USA. I got them last year. So, I mean, you can get letters other places, but she has really cute things. And then she had stars within. She had, she has these whole, like, if you love um, your tiered trays or anything like that, she has the cutest decorations um, that she cuts out for tiered trays. And she will also demonstrate, she um, is always on her page showing how she decorates them up. All right, um, if, and let me just tell you a little bit too, um, if you didn't see, again, I know um, algorithms have not been that friendly lately. If you didn't see, I'm having another um, Magnolia Mystery Hostess party. It's gonna be next Thursday, so it's already started. You can already order, minimum order of $30 or more, um, not counting shipping and handling, gets you entered in to um, possibly win that mystery hostess gifts for the party, all the hostess gifts. So last party, um, and I can't guarantee how much of it is gonna be in this one. It depends how many people order. Um, last party, Elva, which I don't know if she's out here, um, she got $750 of free product from Magnolia for being um, chosen the hostess after I drew the names. So if you are interested in that at all, I actually set it up a little bit different this time. Um, I'm, I set up, a, in, and it's a group off of my page. It says Crafty Servings with Magnolia Design. That group is always going to stay there now because I can do a lot with the, the stencils and that on there. I'll still do that some on here, but I'll do probably more on that group. But then there's an event off of that group page. And so I'll always just do events off of that group page for it. Um, so go out and find that group page if you're interested in all. Um, even if you're not interested in the party you can or ordering, you can go out and watch. But yeah, go to that group page and then and join that. And then look for the event and you'll find it. Okay. Got that all painted up. Okay, we're just gonna dry it. That's gonna be really cute on here. I made things from the Dollar Tree for mine. Oh, awesome. Okay, just dry these up. Let's see a big slobber of paint. Right, we need to make a gnome template to trace on wood for us. You know, I could do that, Rhonda. Um, I could do that. Yes, she's Crafty USA. She has an Etsy shop. So it might be all together without spaces as the Etsy shop. Um, and I can post a link. Um, I'll, I can put it down in the comments later uh, for her shop. I don't think she's on here. She's at this Pinner's con conference today in Atlanta. All right. Okay, so now I'm just going to decorate these up just a little bit, maybe some stripes and dots. I'm not good at stars, so we're not going to do that. Uh, let's just do some bright red stripes on here. You know what? We're going to do red and white on here. So I'll leave a little space. Make it your own. Decorate it up whatever way you like. You know who's ever throwing all those hearts? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate the love. Almost done here too. We're... Okay, um, 
I'm just going to swap out and do some of the white now. Oops. And my other, this other one is better. <laughs> Look at all those hearts all. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So let's just finish this up. I'm going to put stripes in between so you can see the white too. And that'll bring out the white on the board also. Uh, let's do some polka dots. And I'm doing them a little bit off also. So again, you can use the back of a paintbrush too if you want. That works really good. Are you using acrylic? I am using all acrylic paint. Um, and most of it is deco art, um, Americana. But I think I have an Anita's on the table. That's what the red was. It really doesn't matter. Whatever you have is perfectly fine. Oh, I must have dipped in the water that I... Cute. All right, so what am I going to do on here? I'm not good with stars. Is that your clock chime? That was my clock chime. Okay, I know what I'm going to do on here. Yes, that was my clock chime. That means it's getting late and we work tomorrow. Um, just looking for the brush I want. Okay, I'm going to do some chevron, I think. We'll do it with white. Well, U.S. I don't think you'll see the red that much. We can do it just so it's a little different. You may not see it. It's not looking like Chevron. That's all right. Almost done. And we'll just do little tiny polka dots yet of the white on in between here. If you have a toothpick, that would work for this. Okay, this one is okay. You don't see much of the red, that's all right. Okay. And there's the letter A. Okay, I think I might almost be done painting. Let's dry them up. Thanks, Rita. Thanks, Kathy. Whoever threw out all those stars, thanks so much. I appreciate it. I appreciate all the hearts you all are given. Almost done here. Like I said, I was going to... We still might do a star, just because I, I was sort of going to connect it with a ribbon, almost like a balloon. We'll see. This USA might be balloon, maybe. Okay. Let's 
get our gnome back on. If you're late, this is the dude we drew and painted tonight. Okay, you can see the red? Okay, good. Um, all right, so we're gonna be putting on the U S. Yes, I was just seen the right way. Yes, make one. Okay, here's the USA. I'm glad we went with just blue. Okay, so if I did a star, I don't know. Oh, you know what? Okay. Let me show you what else we're gonna add to it. I'm, instead of trying to paint stars, look at this ribbon I had from last year. This is going to be across his brim. It's gonna be sort of the brim of his hat. So I'm just gonna cut that. It's gonna be cute. Trust me, it'd be cute, right? It just adds a little something. That. I had a sharp scissor work better. Do you have uh, an outline for that? I don't, Melody. I drew it on this live. Um, you know what I could do? I could draw an outline and put it out in my Etsy shop maybe for, you know, download for maybe a couple bucks or something like that. Um, and then that way it, it's an automatic download that you have it as a digital copy because it's too much for me to try and get you all that outline. Um, so for that way, I can put it out there. Um, okay. Oh, I forgot my letters aren't attached. We'll attach our letters first and then I'll show you the ribbon. And this is really, really hot glue because it's been sitting here all night. That'd be awesome. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll I'll draw up a pattern. I said it was easy painting. I it it was very easy painting. <gasps> That's really, really hot on my finger again. Always do it. Have them holding. See, and that's what I almost wanted to do it as a balloon. So I'm, yeah, I'll see what I, I'm going to do something with that star, I think, yet. We'll see. If I had littler stars, just wait. I think I have a little star and it will be so me. Guess what kind of star I think I have that's littler. Do you know what kind of star I have that's littler? Again, these letters were from Jen from She's Crafty. Having them hold a star. Okay. Put a little bit on the one end. I don't want to burn, so I'm just putting. I can't even see what I'm doing. She it's left-handed. All right. Let's try this again. There we go. Okay, that brim was really cute. So this ribbon I think I got last year, probably Hobby Lobby. I didn't know, Offre? Yeah, is that Hobby Lobby? Too cute, right? Get that out of here. Um, okay, the star. Of course it's a button. I know I got a star button in here. I know I have star buttons. I just have to sort of look around. Because I know there's some in here. I see it. 
I see it, I see it. I may have a couple. I might have three. Well, I think two is going to be enough. Let's see. I don't know if I have more than that. Those, those came out pretty good. Okay, I think, I think we're gonna do with the two. Okay. And I almost feel like I don't wanna paint them. Only reason why I'm saying that is it's pulling out the, the color of the nose. Can you see this? Tell me, do you want me to paint them? Or you know what? Or they'll probably stand out more if I paint them. What do you think? I, I almost like um. Or. I could just do that. What if I do that? I think I like that. What do you think? One star. Yeah, unpainted, I agree. One star there. I don't know that I put a second one by the hand though. Paint three, red, white, and blue. The only thing is with the white, I'd almost have to put it on something. Make them, they're perfect. So what do you think? I, I really like that on the hat, on the ribbon. What if I do, what if I do that? I have one on the ribbon and one up on the A. Can I see that? One up on the A and one on the ribbon. <laughs> A star on the brim, I do like Just see what else. Let me see the star on the hat. Oh, I got the glue around. Okay, I need to get done. We gotta go to bed. I don't think I I think I I like it on the ribbon. Okay, let me just see. I don't know that I necessarily need it at the top. Maybe just on the hat, I think. Yeah, one star, I agree. And I think I like it, I like it on the right side just because there's a little more space. Yeah. And we're gonna call her done. There we go. What do you think? 